Alrighty mighty, let's get to my favorite part of making videos. The intro. God, I hate making intros. <laughs> I'm living for all the Chanyeol and Sehun. I mean, of course, there's a lot of them in this song because it's their song. But for me, uh, it's very exciting to see them so much. Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, welcome in. What am I doing with my hands? All right, let's just keep at it. Uh, hi, my name is Landi. I am a huge, huge BTS fan who is currently trying to get to know EXO. From my journey so far, there's two people that have especially stuck out to me, which is Chanyeol and Seon. And people have informed me that they actually have a subunit called EXO SC, and that if I like these two people, I should probably check that subunit out. And that is what we're gonna be doing today. This is gonna be my first time ever checking out an EXO subunit as a BTS fan. I don't have any personal experience with subunits, meaning that like the most that in BTS we've had so far was certain members of BTS doing a song together on their like group album, but we've never actually had like committed subunits that have like their own entire project. So this is quite exciting for me actually seeing like members of a group kind of, I don't want to say split off, that sounds so permanent, but like do their own thing, their own project, and probably also their own type of music, especially because these are the two members that I am most keeping an eye out for at the moment so yeah i would say without further ado let us jump in all right so here we are the song that we're gonna be checking out today and i just realized i didn't actually say so in the intro but i'm gonna say it now the song that we're gonna be reacting to today is xosc what a life and well this is the section where i talk about my expectations for a song and i already had certain expectations because it's called what a life but this first frame already kind of enhances the expectations that i already had which is it's probably one of these look at me my life is great songs it might not be but that's like the vibe that I'm getting from this. There's a car, there's a fancy house already, and what a life kind of sounds like. Hey, I've got a pretty cool life and let me talk about it. So I am expecting a upbeat song, probably. I mean, these are the two rappers in EXO, so hopefully we can get some rap. I know that at least Chanyeol can sing. I don't know about Seon, but I have checked some Chanyeol solo stuff before where he has been singing. So I know that in theory he could also be singing, but I would be very down if it was just the two of them rapping because I I am into rap and K-pop, so I am very much here for it. All right, well now, without further ado, let us jump into it. Mm. Uh -huh. Oh, this has tropical mm. feel to it. Yeah. System Jung Yong Kui, on the mix of Mountain and Free. Man, Seon just has this face. Like every time I get a close up of his face, I just kind of want to pause and just stare at it for a while. It's, I'm kind of smitten. <laughs> I don't know why I find it so funny. The styling is very interesting, but I cannot help but think that these gloves here kind of look like what you're wearing in American movies for when you're doing the dishes. Kind of reminds me a lot of that. Again, these people can wear it and not look ridiculous, but imagine me in that outfit. <laughs> Alright, I quickly have to make a pause. I know that like sometimes pauses can be so jarring, so I was really holding out when to pause because I wanted you guys to have a bit more of a taste of the song. But then like at some point my thoughts just leave me if I wait for too long. So what kind of stuck out to me in the very beginning, but I was kind of waiting to see how it develops. There's a lot of diversity in like the um, cast, the extras that they're using um, are very diverse. I find that really cool. As for the song, it has a very tropical vibe. Summary, yes, but like the special 
special kind of summary, like a chill summary. I'm thinking a bit of like Coco Bop. I will see how this song develops. I have to say at this current point, it's a bit too chill for me. Because for me, that kind of music, what we've heard so far, is rather like background music than actively listening music. But let's see how it develops. I like seeing Seven so much. I'm actually not really used to that. And I love that he gets to dance a bit. And there's actually a choreo to this. I wasn't really expecting. But it looks like they actually have a choreo for it. That choreo for it. I cannot talk. I'm sorry. And also his hair on the boat scenes is different from usual. Like I feel like I've always seen Seven in kind of the same hairstyle. So I was like, that's still him, right? <laughs> looks a bit different, but it does suit him. I'm sorry, I have a hair in my face and it's tickling me. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized that he's got uh, cash in his breast pockets. That's what they're called. I love how it kind of casually transformed into night time without really being jarring. Like it kind of looked like they just danced into the night. I really like that as a little detail. And I'm pretty sure they're not in Korea. Like the first time I saw the palm trees, I was like, Oh, actually, are probably the cast of Sedevers because they're actually not in Korea. Probably. Interesting. And also another thing that kind of stuck out to me, what made me really happy, and you probably saw me smirk earlier, um, was that the more I react to songs while I'm also studying Korean in college, the more I actually understand the lyrics without having to have the lyrics on the screen. And like whenever there's like a full sentence that I understand what they're saying, I'm like, it makes me really happy. It's really exciting and it kind of helps me learning as well. Ooh, the styling. <laughs> Even though, like, I feel like if I saw them in real life like that, I would probably kind of find it funny how they're wearing sunglasses in the club, but it does look very cool. It's just like, it's dark, but it does look very cool. Oh, they're off. They're back on. I'm living for all the Chanyeol and Seon. I mean, of course, there's a lot of them in this song because it's their song. But for me, uh, it's very exciting to see them so much, especially Seon, because I always feel like um, he's kind of like there. But he usually doesn't get these scenes where, where it's actually just him for a longer period of time and he actually gets to like be the focus of the music video for a while. So that's very exciting. <laughs> Alright, 
This was fun. As you guys probably know, I do prefer watching music videos for the first time without lyrics on, just to kind of, you know, get the vibe of the vocals and the instrumentals without actually like the added help of the lyrics, just so I can feel what the song does to me before knowing what it like actually black on white is about. And then sometimes I do react to the lyrics later on, but usually like when I react to lyrics, everyone kind of just skips over that part and goes to like the conclusion because they don't really care. Actually, in this case, I will react to the lyrics though, even though I often don't, just because I'm very unsure about this song. Like, I love the two of them, and I feel like that really is a big bonus for this song, that it's the two of them that I really enjoy and whose voices I really like. But at the same time, the song itself didn't really do a lot for me so far, so I'm gonna, if there is lyrics, there is lyrics. I'm gonna check it again with the lyrics and we're just gonna do like a quick play of just what I have to say regarding the lyrics. I'm gonna watch it completely. I'm just gonna cut it to the interesting parts and then I will give my conclusion to the song. Just because I feel like I need some more. <laughs> That's such a Korean thing to say. <laughs> Today the air is dust free. Uh, I can relate though. I've been to Seoul once before and they had very good weather at the time that I was there, but there was one day where the air was actually really bad and that was an experience. <laughs> Okay, I feel like I kind of get the vibe of the song a bit more now because for me it was kind of a bit too laid back before and from like a personal standpoint, from my like personal music preference, it still is. But it does make sense for the song because the entire like leading into the chorus is kind of them just being like, we've got all the time in the world, what do we want to do today? Like all of the options are free and they're kind of just like very casually asking what to do and how to spend their time. In in a way where it's like we could do dad or dad or dad none of that is an issue all of that is possible and none of that is even gonna be like hard to make happen so it does make sense in a way um still it's kind of too <sighs> i don't know let's continue yeah. I feel like that part, like starting from when Sam started his rap verse just now, is my favorite in the song. I already thought that the first time I watched, but now that I've heard the entire song once already, I feel like that actually is my favorite part. Okay, in the part that comes up right now, I also feel again like that kind of just explains why the song is the way that it is. Because it's just really kind of nonchalant about it. It's kind of a by the way thing. <laughs> like, no big deal. <laughs> Okay, I have to say, as for my like final conclusion, this actually did not change much. I feel like I understand better why the song is the way that it is now, but still like for my personal preference, I feel like I am um, set on a judgment. Oh, that sounds so harsh. Well, let's jump into the big screen and talk about it for a second. Okie dokie, so this has been What A Life by Chanyol and Seon from EXO. And I feel like the song was fun, but at the same time, my kind of issue with the song, it's fun to listen to, but at the same time, I kind of feel like not very much happens. Like in the video, of course, there's a lot of stuff happening and it's interesting to watch. But as for just like the musical aspect of it, I feel like both the instrumentals and their rap as well kind of always stayed the same in a way. Like I feel like the song in itself is fun to listen to, but I don't find it exciting enough for myself to like wanting to listen to it again, if you know what I mean. Like when I hear a song for the first time, there's often songs where I'm like, oh, it's fun, it's cool. But then I think, do I see myself in the future being like, I want to listen to What Alive? And I feel like 
like this is the kind of song where I would probably be really excited if it came up randomly somewhere, like if I'm in a store or something. Well, I mean, I live in Germany, so that's very unlikely. But if I'm in a store and this suddenly comes up, I'm like, what? It's EXO, that's so cool. I, I would be excited. Or if it like came up on the radio or something. But at the same time, I feel like if it came up in my playlist, I would probably skip to something else just because if I have the control over what plays next, I would probably always prefer other songs over it. So for me, I feel like this is a song that's fun to have listened to, but at the same time, I don't see myself like actively seeking it out again in the future. And that kind of hurts me to say a bit because from EXO, Chanyol and Seon, I don't have a bias yet, but I am especially interested in the two of them. I like their voices a lot. I like their raps. They're often the parts in the songs that I enjoy the most. Thus, I feel like my expectations were also pretty high and I feel like it's just one of these songs that I've heard and they were fun, but I will probably not remember it. And I feel a bit sad about that just because I know that I love the two of them and that probably has actually given this song a bit of a bonus point. And still, unfortunately, I feel like it's just not my thing. I feel bad for leaving my reaction at a point like that. But at the same time, for me personally, it's very important to always be honest in my reactions. And also if I don't like a song to still post the reaction, because I feel like otherwise, if I would just gloss over that, then my reactions would kind of lose value because you guys would be like, well, she only posts what she likes anyways. And I don't want to say I didn't like this song. I did like it. I just didn't love it. And I don't really, well, I think I already said all of that. That is just my feelings and my first impression of this song and of course if you guys enjoy it that is awesome and I'm happy for you as said I also did enjoy it it's just I don't know something was missing for me but do feel free to let me know down below in the comments what other song of XOSC sorry I always want to say ESCO for some reason when I know there's an S coming up soon <laughs> what other song of XOSC I should um, check out in the future probably something that is a bit harder if they have something like that. Of course, every idol kind of has their own music style. And if that is their musical style, then I'm all here for them doing the style that they enjoy doing. It might not be my favorite, but I support idols doing what they love. So, well, do let me know down below in the comments what you would like to see next. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>